words have been part of my life for as long as I can remember, my whole life. But it took a cancer diagnosis to turn me into an author. As a teenager, I actually turned my back in anger and I walked away. But as I lay there in those hospital beds looking back, I could see that actually God hadn't been willing to let me go. And sea change is really the story of my journey back to him. But it was as I look back and wonder on incidents like this, that God did something miraculous in my life. And my book Sea Changed, and my ministry became about something bigger. It became about reassuring people that the, the surest path to faith isn't always a straight line. And that God can be found in the most unexpected places, even in a cancer diagnosis. From the outset, when I was diagnosed, I decided, my family and I decided we were not going to give up hope. And the foundations of that hope were prayer and God's word. We knew that we were surrounded by the prayer of my church family. And I also knew that my World Vision family were praying for me. And it was remarkable. I felt carried on the sea of prayer. It was quite incredible and it gave me enormous hope. At times it felt as if electricity was almost passing through my body. I remember there was one time it, I had the distinct impression that cancer was leaving my body like dust motes on the air. It was extraordinary. And I just knew then that God was telling me that I must leave the door open for him to heal, that this wasn't irreversible. Um, and I went back after a month to see the surgeon and it is a day I will never forget. It was March the 28th, 2015. I walked into his office and he didn't say anything to me. He just, I sat down and he just stared at me long and hard and he just turned around the report on his desk and pointed to the bottom line of the report, which said, there is no evidence of cancer in her body. Yeah. But I think what I really came to realize is that healing rougher is bigger than cure. And it actually takes many forms. In fact, perhaps my most profound healing was an almost inexplicable sense of peace that I was given. But somehow throughout, I knew I was going to be okay. Even if I couldn't be with my family, it was going to be okay. And somehow I was able to hold two realities in my mind at once. One, that I might have to leave this earth before I attended. And the other, the possibility of physical healing. And somehow these two weren't in tension. I knew somehow I just had to trust him. In fact, that presence of coming so close to God at times was almost incandescent. It was as if I had lived for a while on the border between the natural and the supernatural. And I think at the end of the day, I think that's God's most profound healing. That peace that passes all understanding and the sense that we're surrounded by his love. So each day I rise with hope in my heart and I declare, I will not die but I will live and declare the works of God.